welcome to episode three of uh, differential equations for multivariable physics. Um, we're going to. This is just going to be quick. It's just I'm just going to talk about existence and uniqueness of the solutions to um, these functions. So all we want to do uh, is so oftentimes we kind of want to know when uh, uh, under what sort of domain a solution exists and so what we're going to do is we're going to prove uh, the uniqueness and existence of of a function that solves a, a particular differential equation so we need to show to show that a solution exists and we, we want to show first of all existence we want to show that a solution exists and uniqueness tells us that we have one solution right so we want to know one exists and you know only one so this kind of becomes important when we have like initial values so let's consider this initial value problem I remember I mentioned that where we have boundaries so y prime plus p y equals g and then we have this y at t naught is equal to y naught um, let's think about the easy case, right? Y prime P plus P Y is equal to zero. What does that get us? Well, if P is continuous over an interval, continuous over some interval, A, B, then there exists one solution. It, uh, there exists some function right inside a b or in in that that in that interval right and then if we have the other equation y prime plus p y equals g if g is continuous over a b this this arbitrary interval then there exists a solution f such that y equals f right or such that f prime plus py equals zero right or pf equals zero uh, otherwise L y equals f right there, there's that solution um so since every first order differential equation can be written in this form, right? Then that means that to check if there is if a solution exists over some interval, all we have to check is is p differentiable and continuous over that interval and is g differentiable and continuous over that interval. That's all we need to check. Um, yeah, and if, uh, if a solution exists, right, then we can also say, given that this initial value problem, once you plug in the initial values, that solution is going to be unique. Okay, hope that makes sense. Um, yeah, this was, as I said, this one's going to be really quick. There's not much else to it. And... Next up, I'm going to talk about some more uh, techniques.